Hey guys, today I'm going to be taking you through my build and testing of the DS0138 digital oscilloscope kit as well as the assembly of the standard acrylic case for it. They are generally sold separately so you can either build the oscilloscope alone or order both kits. I've put links to the kits in the video description. These are the two kits which arrived. The one contains the screws and acrylic pieces for the case and the other is the PCB and components for the oscilloscope. The surface mounted components come already installed, but there's still quite a lot of work to be done to complete the oscilloscope kit. The manual is pretty good, unlike most other electronic kits available online. This one is in reasonably good English, has pictures, detailed explanations of the build process and a fault finding guide. So let's get started with the build. Once you're done with all of the components, there's some basic voltage checks to be done before installing the display. My test voltages were all correct, but I still had a couple of issues to resolve once I got the display plugged in.
My oscilloscope started out perfectly the first time, but as you can see there was no trace visible. I thought that it might just be off the screen and I tried flipping through the switches and connecting the test lead, but there was still nothing displayed. I noticed that the push buttons on the right side were not doing anything, so I tested them all and found one to be a short circuit. I replaced the push button and the cursor now moved around the display, but there was still no trace visible. After a bit more investigation I found that one of the resistors was faulty, and I replaced it. After this the trace appeared and everything seemed to work fine. I then got to work putting the oscilloscope into the acrylic case. I found the case to be a bit frustrating. It is quite well built but the clearances around the components are found to be too fine. If any of the components are even a little skew, as was the case with my power socket, the surrounding plate didn't fit. This led me to crack the right top corner of the first inner plate. This didn't really affect the rest of the assembly but it is noticeable. There is also not much headroom above the components. If any of your components are not completely flush with the PCB, then you'll probably not be able to install the inner three plates properly. To add to the frustration, there are also no instructions supplied with the case. There are a number of instruction videos and sheets online, but they all seem to be a little different. I'm not sure what the kit's success rate is, but there seems to be a large number of questions in forums related to this scope, which suggests that it's not the easiest to get working. Even my one required the replacement of two components to finally get working. Overall, I think this is quite a well-priced and functional oscilloscope kit for hobby and home use. There's nothing fancy about it, but it is able to do everything you'd expect from a small hobby scope, and you can't get anything better for the price. <laughs>